Hello, I'm Brian DiCiano and welcome to the Red Napkin. This drink I'm making for you now is the Sagachiba and Herb Saint cocktail. Uh, as far as I know, it was invented by Junior Marino, uh, the liquid chef from a restaurant in uh, New York. Um, and he made it as the absinthe and cachaca cocktail. And the way he made it was with uh, Leblon cachaca and Le Torment Vert uh, absinthe. And he actually made a video of it, and it's on YouTube, and you can look at it if you want. Um, but I'm going to do kind of a, it's kind of a variation, I guess. Um, not exactly a variation, but I'm just going to show you a way to make the drink just not quite so expensive because uh, absinthe is pretty expensive and when you start mixing it in the drinks it just kind of degrades it I guess, I don't know. Uh, so I'll be using uh, Sagachiba Cachaca and because that's what I have and uh, Herb Saint from New Orleans which is a liqueur and it's not an absinthe but it has those similar absinthe flavors and also the herb saint is very different, di very differently flavored than Le Tourment Vert. Uh, Le Tourment Vert is a much kind of softer, more delicate, just very different um, flavor to it than the, the herb saint does. The herb saint kind of has the more robust, strong, licorice and other uh, herb herbal flavors. So, start here in a pint glass. This is another drink that's going to be muddled using Granny Smith apple. This is about a, a quarter of a Granny Smith apple. And the recipe kind of changed a little bit because of the difference in uh, the products. I'm using Saga Chiba Cachaca and uh, Herb Saint. So I had to use a little bit more apple and again using celery I have to use a little bit more celery. Um, this is probably about six to eight inches, depending on the size of the stock. Um, and a half ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice. And the, uh, the acidity in the lime juice really brings out the celery flavor, flavor in this. So I'll just give this a nice muddle. Uh, using a muddler here that has uh, teeth on it, just makes it easier for muddling something like this, which uh, can be kind of difficult. The Granny Smith apple is a really firm apple, and the celery is firm as well, so. Just helps me muddle it down a little bit. Mm, already getting all those aromatic flavors coming through. Smells really great. You might scratch your head a little bit about how is this drink going to work? Because it seems kind of strange to have, you know, apple and celery and herb saint, the absinthe flavor all together because it just kind of seems strange. But it in fact works really well and the apple works really well with the celery, uh, particularly. So I got that muddled really nicely. Then I'm going to add one and a half ounces of Sagachiba Cachaca. And if you don't know what Cachaca is, it's basically Brazilian rum. Uh, the difference is that it's made from sugar cane, the fresh pressed sugar cane juice instead of molasses, which rum is. And there are rums that are made from sugar cane, but only the ones that come from Brazil are called cachaça. It has a very different flavor and between cachaças they can vary a bit. And uh, Sagachiba is really a refined cachaça. It has kind of a, um, a fo very focused flavor. So I'll add one and a half ounces of Sagachiba cachaça.
and then one ounce of the Herb Saint. Has a nice green color. Uh, brightens up the already uh, green fruits that are in this, or green fruit, which is the apple, and the, the green vegetable, which is the celery. And just to be a little different with this, I'm going to go ahead and add a half an ounce of uh, just a pear schnapps, just because I want to do something different. Uh, I haven't used this before in this drink, but conceptually I think it should work. And then, so I'll just uh, add some ice, give it a shake, and strain it into the glass. Fill my glass with ice. The, uh, the pulp in this breaks up well and releases a lot of juice, a lot of flavor, but it also strains out easily. I can already smell it. Really nice green flavor green color I mean the green demon as uh, absinthe was once known really great drink the Sagachiba and Herb Saint cocktail